Hi, in this screencast I very quickly want to go through the process of working with a bunch of code that I've checked into GitHub within NetBeans. So I'm setting up a GitHub repository right now and the point is once I've done that I want to work with my repository in NetBeans. You can copy your GitHub URL on the GitHub page, it's on the clipboard, so now I can go into NetBeans, say git clone, and stick in that URL into the clone repository dialog and specify a folder into which it should be checked out. Now the checkout is done. The repository is checked out into the folder that I specified. And now into that folder that I've checked out, I'm going to create a project that I want to check into my repository. In this case, I'm creating support in NetBeans for Yeoman, just as an example of a, of a GitHub repository. Creating the module, and I'm putting it into that folder that contains my repository checkout. Now, because I have checked out that folder from GitHub, there are a set of git commands available when I right click on that folder, as you can see. Now I'm doing my commit, which means I'm committing this locally. So my local commit is done. And you can see in the output window all the git commands that are coming back. Once that's done, I can push this remotely into my repository back on GitHub. But you can see it's automatically filled in now. And I can click Next, and then the push is done remotely to my GitHub repository. And now we can complete our push, which means after we enter our password, which means we can go back to the uh, GitHub page in the browser and we can see our first check-in that's been done there. There we go, refresh the browser and you can see that the check-in has been done and there's now content in that GitHub repository. And then the process continues in the same way. So let's, for example, add an action into this module or any Java code at all, doesn't matter what. So here we're creating an action, which is going to start off Yeoman. Click finish. Okay, so now we have some content and we can do some more work on this, of course. But the point is, we can again do a commit, which means that this is being committed into our local repository. And then that having been done, we can go ahead and push that remotely into our repository on GitHub. The process is extremely simple, as you can see. There's almost no work involved, and Git works automatically without needing to install any plugins or configuring anything. It's all right there, and you can even browse the repository locally, as you can see here with these tools. That's it, GitHub and NetBeans.